This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, Joe here from Rufio. We got Brandy back on the channel once again. Yeah. Bringing us, of course, Cyber Dragon. It's been a while. It's been a while, but it's the only thing you've bloody played in the whole goddamn time. Yeah, I've played at least once before. He he does seem to do quite well with it, so uh, we definitely thought it'd be worth bringing you his profile so you can take a look. And of course, he's got some nice new rarity upgrades in there. A few spicy text and all that. Yes, indeed, absolutely. So we'll take a look at all of that in just a moment. Uh, before we do proceed, though, if you are looking for any singles maybe you're inspired by this video you should check out the channel sponsors jam jam cards uk there will be a link in the description to the ebay store and if you go ahead and use that you'll get yourself a nice discount on the ebay channel ebay channel uh, ebay sure. close. close enough so whenever you're ready talk us through your list so free cyber dragon obviously it's your dupe target you need to run it obviously it summons itself for free so when you make a fleet free core search through your spell traps some stuff from deck again has to be a free of hers our second searcher combos of soldier just just a quick apology there guys if you do hear any noise picking up we are at local so you'll have to kind of excuse that it's not carry on uh, one nashta i wouldn't recommend playing any more than one because you just use it as like recursion to bring your back your infinity next turn if it gets removed it gets bricky if you play more than one in my opinion uh, we've got two soldier again kind of similar i wouldn't play free because opening two is pretty dead uh, i decided to play free jizakiru because kaiju's are pretty insane at the moment yeah gets rid of winder which is pretty much a win against this deck um and it can get rid of Appaloozas and stuff. Unfortunately, it's not win, so I won't get rid of a barrier statue, but gotta live with it. And then here comes the spicy tech. I decided to play free Joker's Knight, and then King's Knight as the target for it. Okay, Basically, so explain this. Yeah. Explain this. So, um, how it works is you send one of the OG knights from deck to grave, and then it summons itself from the hand. And then during the end phase, it shuffles a light warrior from your grave into the deck and adds itself back to your hand. So every turn, it will put back your target and you can just keep summoning it. And honestly, it was really, really good today. And it's level 5 light it's, as well. It's level 5 so. light, it's 2k. It's just it's also has really done. sick art and it comes in collectively. Yeah. You cannot complain. Uh, uh, and then hand traps, triple ash, triple bell. Uh, I mean... They're the most generic hand traps that kind of hit everything. Yep. When you're playing a Go Second OTK deck, you kind of need to play stuff in the main that will hit roughly everything. And these cards do that. Obviously, they're not blowout cards like Droll. But, but they hit everything in some yeah. capacity. Like, Dro Droll doesn't hit every deck, so you can't really make it. Unless, you know, you've got a very... There's only a few decks in your locals, but this local is very varied. And the one Pank, because I had a spot, and Pank is a good card. Another Very out for, yeah, another out for window, which this deck really needs. Uh, then on to spells, which you've got triple emergency, uh, one repair plant, these are our searchers. Only playing one repair plant. I used to play two for the longest time, but I've never had an issue playing just one, so yeah, it gives me an extra spot. Uh, the triple do. Duke is Duke, you know. Uh, one overload fusion. And I'll say right now I'm not playing red eyes fusion because I hate the horrible bricks that you get with those cards. Yeah. Maybe you should, but I I personally don't think it's worth it. And then we have Rev System and Monster Reborn just as extra extenders or you know, you can be cheeky with a reborn and summon back an infinity or something. Yeah. And then the last bits in the main deck we got the overflow and three impermanence. Impermanence is probably I wanna say the best hand trap at the moment, maybe second best. Very strong. Yeah. Super strong against Tri Brigade. It's another out for Winder. I know I'm focusing it on a lot, but there is quite a lot of Shadal invoked here. Yeah, and yeah. Winder is just a wing fight against this deck. And then we'll move on to the extra deck. Playing 2 Infinity, 2 Nova. I don't think this has ever changed or ever will. We always want access to these cards. There are wing cons most of the time. Yep. Uh, and then for other Xyzers, we have Pleiades and Constella Knight Diamond. Okay, so explain so, the Constella, because <laughs> yeah, Ple Pleiades, I, mean, I think Pleiades. it's fine. Yeah, yeah. I think it's fine, but the other one? Yeah, so part of the reason why I wanted a level 5 extender in Joker's Knight is to summon this guy. 
So he requires three or more level five white monsters. And while he's on the field, neither player can send cards from the main deck to the graveyard. Oh, so it kills okay. Fractal or Kit or Foolish. Um, also Shadol Fusion. And then also, uh, not once per turn, you can detach a material to negate and destroy a dark monster that activates. So yeah. stuff like Shureg or Alistair. It's just really strong. I haven't actually had a chance to activate it because every pretty much every match today I've played against not meta, which is what I want to play against. It's, it's like good on paper. It, I mean, it sounds pretty busted yeah. for that. If you have the space, I, I, I was deciding between this or instant fusion just as the extra extender, but yeah, I feel like that's better at the moment. Like certainly the better option, I think. Yeah, yeah. And then playing one instant fusion, one instant fusion target just felt like a waste. And then the last is Zeus. Zeus, Zeus, Zeus. Zeus is strong. Play Zeus. And especially because we're playing Infinity. Um, it's pretty easy to get four materials stacked up on that. 5,000 materials. Yes, yes. And we have a little fusion package. We've got the Mega Fleet. It's the weird that this has become like the smallest part because it used yeah, to be. It used to be huge, especially when Striker was around. You'd play like three Mega Fleet in one fortress at least. Yeah, I, I wasn't playing Mega Fleet for the longest time, but recently I've put it back in. Just as that spot removal for Apple losers and stuff, and it, it's worked. Yep. If you're playing the Red Eyes Fusion, you probably don't have the room in the extra deck for it, but yeah. yeah. And then Fortress for Jizkiru and Rampage Dragon is our like, win OTK button. machine. Yeah, win button with Verte. Uh, and then for our links, we have the Axis Code Talker and the Unicorn. I used to play Phoenix, but I cut it just because it wasn't coming up. And a lot of the time, you are just going to summon the Unicorn with Verte and then go for game. Yep. Uh, and then we have Sega. Doesn't come up a lot anymore. It's still a win con against Dinos, which is fun because <laughs> UCD just can't out it. Uh, and then Verte, win button, and finally Almirage. You summon it with four or hers if you need to get searches or make your repair plant live. Yeah, it's probably the best. You, you wouldn't play Link Revo just because you can't summon it with um, yeah, the core. It's called that too. Yeah. And quickly go through the side deck. I'm quite proud of my side deck because I think it's pretty solid. We got triple Lancia, yeah. obviously for invoked and uh, try again. Yep. Got triple Droll, also invoked on Drytron. There used to be a fair amount of Drytron, but I don't think there was any today. No, it's rolled down a little bit. Yeah, but Droll is still super strong. That's about right. Uh, lots of spell trap removal because I hate back row decks. Yep. Um, you could play Cosmic if you wanted to get around stuff like Schism, but I just wanted the the removal. Uh, and then we've got our anti-spell cards, no pun intended. Yep. It's probably the best thing to play when you want to side out hand traps for going first at the moment. Yeah. I, I did try like Ice Dragon's Prison and stuff for a while, but they've just kind of fallen off. These are just strong, you can slap them down. Yeah, they hurt a lot more decks as well. Like yeah. most decks, at least in some capacity, will be slowed yeah, down with nothing not, else. No, exactly. And a, another overflow because overflow is a really strong card. Yeah, yeah cool. Uh, any notes on what you might change or um, think well, well? Stuff I might change. I might try instant fusion. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I guess there there is cards that are coming out soon that you should keep your eye out on if you want to build this deck. There's Retort Fusion, which is basically instant fusion but only summons normal monsters. Yeah. Um, and the target of that would be Cybersaurus. Well, yeah. He's and, not a uh, cyber card anymore though. No, he got they've rotted him. It's ridiculous. Ruined. I miss him. Um, and then the other one is the Chronomaly Xyz. I can't remember what it's called. It's like Vimana or something. Is uh, <coughs> okay, yeah. And it's a rank five, uh, level five white machine. Um, the gate's monster effects and gives you attack boost. So it's strong. What, it's a, it's a what sets that in? Dawn of Majesty, right? Both of those cards are in Dawn of Majesty. Yeah, okay. So I'd recommend picking them up. Yep. Yeah, so that, that's that. Okay, sweet. Okay, so that is the profile. Thank you very much for taking the time to do it. I really appreciate it. Any shout-outs before we go? Of course. Got to shout-out Jam Jam cards. Hooked me up with the new ulti Cyber Dragon. The ones that look Marcia like vanillas. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, almost got me the collector's joke. Uh, got to shout-out Rufio for being the best Yugi Tuber in in, I'd say not a street anymore, maybe like his half of the town, even. My village, it's, I'm outside of MK now. Outside like the of MK. whole village, oh, yeah, yeah. Whole yeah. village is mine. 
Oh, yeah, skyrocketing up there. Also, like to shout yeah, out my parents for just, giving birth uh, to me. That's yeah. usually a good thing. So, I really I appreciate existing. Well. Not all of the time, but at the moment, I'm feeling it. So, yeah. Not when existence is pain. No, uh, and shout out to Mark, of course, for giving us the space to play. It's been an awesome day today. Yeah, yeah. Huge, uh, huge crowd. Nice and stacked, to be fair. 30 oh, yeah. players, which is good for our locals. Um, yeah. And we're back to normal locals now. So Unfortunately, there's so many who just missed out on the top cut, <laughs> even though going free ones or up head down or round four. But uh, I think there's a strong showing for the deck, and hopefully, they can get the top, deck, uh, top cut next week. There you go. Well, again, thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Uh, thank you very much, guys, for checking in. If you haven't already, you should definitely hit subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.